Today I'm going to spine index these arrows. I'm getting ready for hunting season and so I'm going to use a gauge to do that. These are uh, kind of a thinner diameter arrow. The reason you want to spine index your arrows is that an, a carbon arrow has somewhat of a seam down one side of it and it can actually impact the way it flexes when it comes off your bow. So what I have here is a dozen arrows and the spine of the arrow is, it basically says how much the arrow can flex. So if it's a, a 300 spine arrow, when you hang, put it on one of these and hang about a two pound weight from it, it's going to flex about 0.3 inches. They move the decimal place over, it becomes a 300 spine. If it flexes a half of an inch, that's, they move the decimal over, it's a 500 spined arrow. So the lower the number, the stiffer the spine. Now the way they make carbon arrows, there is essentially a seam that runs down the arrow that's a little bit stiffer than the rest of the arrow. So by spine indexing the arrow, I'm gonna be able to determine what is the stiffest part of each arrow, because each arrow is gonna have that seam then I'll be able to put my index vein on that spine and point it up so that the stiffest part of the seam of the arrow is going to be facing up for all of them. If it's facing a different direction, it can cause the arrow to flex differently as it comes off of the bow. So that's the purpose of spine indexing an arrow. What I'm going to do is put the arrow on this gauge here hang a two pound weight from it. I'm going to gently rotate the arrow shaft and I'm going to watch this gauge and it's going to come up on the stiffest part of the spine and then drop back down. Now there is a little variance when you're actually twisting because you can be putting a little flex in the arrow but what I like to do is um, once I get close to where the the highest point is I just kind of slow down and I just go back and forth right there to just kind of tell what is my highest point exactly and then I'll put a mark on the arrow up by the knock as far as where that stiffest part of the spine is and that's where I'm going to put my index fletch. Okay, right in there, right around in there is my stiffest part. So right there is about where I'm going to put my mark for my index fletch. So now I'll go through the rest of these arrows and I'll find that high point on the spine and mark it and then go ahead and fletch all these arrows. Uh, I'm going to do another video to discuss more on how to choose the right spined arrow for your setup and also on building the arrow, you know, fletching it and everything. So I'm going to be putting together a whole series of basically bow tuning and arrow setup, bow setup, things like that. Brand new series on my channel so stay tuned for that. And if you want to uh, see the exact arrow I'm using here, I'll provide a link for it in the description section of this video, and you can see what arrow I'm using for hunting this year. Until next time, take care, and God bless.